Welcome to this uh, question about uh, constructing equations and solving them. And one of you asked me on my site, explainingmaths.com, uh, to help with this question. Yeah, and you can do the same thing. Go to my website uh, where you'll find all my resources, uh, nicely organized. But you can also ask me questions if you have any. Now, before we start, I also want to mention this is a past paper question. Yeah? So this was a question on an IGCSE exam. So all credit uh, goes to Cambridge examinations. Yeah, I did not create this question. We are just here to solve it. Now, what's going on? Sarah spends X dollars on pens, and they cost two uh, and a half dollars each, okay? She also spends X minus 14, 50 dollars on pencils, and they are 50 cents each, yeah, 0 0.5 dollars. The total of the number of pens and the number of pencils is 19, yeah? So if you would count the pens and the pencils together, you get 19. Write down and solve an equation in X. And I believe this is for six points. Yeah? This is quite an advanced question. Now, let me uh, don't don't think you're going to solve this in in twenty seconds. Let's have a look. Pens. I'm trying to underline it. Are two fifty each, and she spends X dollars. Now, because pens and pencils both start with an P, I'm just going to write down here that I'm going to say that the pens are A, and pencils. I will call them B, okay? Because otherwise I have a P and a P for pens and pencils, and that's not going to work, yeah? So an A and a B. And the other one is, for the pencils, she spends X minus 14.50, and they are 50 cents each, yeah? That's for the pencils. And the last important information is that the total number of pens and pencils is 19. Okay, now which kind of equations can we construct? Now, first of all, I can say that 250, yeah, so 2.5, which is the price of a pen, times A equals X, yeah? Can you please think about that, yeah? A is the amount of pens times the price of one pen equals the amount spent on pens, which is X, okay? And I can do a similar thing for the amount of pencils. They are 0.5B, yeah, equals, and how much does she spend? X minus 14.50. Okay, so the price of one pencil times the amount of pencils equals the money spent on the pencils. And the last thing I can say is, over here, I can say, well, A plus B equals 19. Okay, the amount of pens plus the amount of pencils equals 19. Now, just by writing down these three equations, I already gain a lot of points, okay? So whenever you feel troubled or intimidated by a particular question on your exam, don't just skip it. Try to write down whatever you know, yeah? Because this is probably worth already three points if you look at the mark scheme. But now we're going to continue because I have to write down and solve an equation in X. So I should write down one equation with the unknown, with the variable being X. But what do I have here? I have three equations with A, B and X. Okay, so that's not good enough. So I've got to manipulate the situation a little bit. Now, what can I do? For instance, I can say over here, I can say, well, A equals x over 2.5 yeah so i'm just changing the subject i just say a equals so i divide both sides by 2.5 so x over 2.5 and i can do the same thing for here i'm going to make b the subject yeah and i'm going to say well b equals 2x minus 29 yeah? okay do you follow that i multiply it by 2 to get 1b 2x minus 29 yeah or i divide it by a half x divided by a half is 2x, and minus 14.5 divided by a half is minus 29. So A is x over 2.5, B is 2x minus 29, and here I say A plus B equals 19. So if I now substitute, that's another question, by the way, probably in my email, but anyway, if I now substitute that in this equation, so A, I'm going to say, well, that is x over 2.5, plus b, but I'm going to say, well, that is 2x minus 29. Well, that should equal 19. And that is your equation in x, okay? I have one equation with the variable being x. And now I have to solve it. Now, um, how do I solve it? First of all, I, I, I personally... Uh, well, there are different ways of doing it. Yeah? I personally just want to get rid of that fraction. So I times everything by 2.5. Please solve it the way you want to solve it. I timed everything by 2.5, so that becomes x 
uh, 2.5 times 2, 5x minus 29 times 2.5 is minus 72.5, and that's going to be 47.5. Then I'm going to combine the like terms, x plus 5x, it's going to be 6x equals, and I'm going to take, or I'm going to plus 72.5 here, so plus 72.5 there, and that will be together 120. But again, there are different ways to get to this particular point. 6x equals 120, so x equals 120 divided by 6, uh, which is 20. Okay, so that will be your final answer. Well, actually, this and x equals 20 are your final answer because the question is write down and write down the equation in x and solve it. Okay, so x is 20. You can now check that for yourself uh, if you want. Um, so if she spends 20 on pens, they're 250 each. That means she buys eight pens. Yeah, you can work it out. And 20 minus 1450. Uh, uh, what is that? 550. So she buys what is that? Um, 11 uh, pencils, 11 plus 8 indeed is 19 in total. Anyway, so this is a past paper question, 6 points, so it's going to take you some time to get to the final answer. However, for 6 points, that's what you're expected to do, uh, so don't worry too much about it, and, and don't focus perhaps on getting all those 6 points. Let's try to get 3 or 4 points to start with, yeah, and perhaps maybe sometimes you can get all of those 6 points. Go to my website, guys, explainingmaths.com, um, where you'll find all my resources, and like and share this video if it was useful, and then I can help your friends too. I wish you a very pleasant day. Bye-bye.